It's a delicate task loading scientific equipment, including this robotic submarine, on board the Russian research ship Akademik Treshnikov. The vessel is being chartered by the newly formed Swiss Polar Institute to circumnavigate Antarctica. There are 55 scientists from 30 countries on board. Because the Antarctic and, and the Southern Ocean actually influence the whole of the global weather system and all the currents uh, in the oceans, it matters to everybody what happens in the Antarctic. It, it also matters if the Antarctic begins to melt as far as world sea level is concerned. It's the largest source of uh, new water added to the oceans in the world. Since leaving Cape Town in late December, the ships travelled thousands of kilometres and visited four sub-Antarctic islands. After a brief stop in Hobart, it will then plunge back into Antarctic waters, first stop on Macquarie Island. It will then sail to the edge of the continent before making stops at four islands en route to Chile. The third leg will bring it back to Cape Town. For French microbiologist and plankton expert Louis Magnet, it's an opportunity he couldn't turn down. First time I discover uh, Antarctica, it's a very uh, long-lasting project, um, so now it realizes I'm, I'm really happy about it. Uh, and scientifically it's amazing. The first leg of the expedition encountered wild weather, cutting short the time researchers could spend on sub-Antarctic islands. It's hoped calmer conditions on the second leg will allow the scientists to do more of their work. There's a serious amount of heavy-duty scientific equipment on board this ship, from ice-penetrating radar to laboratories which will analyse water and air samples. There are two helicopters, even a submarine, all part of an unprecedented effort to better understand climate change in and around Antarctica. With equipment being loaded up until the last moment, for many of the science teams, the next job is to assemble their experiments. They'll be using the long voyage south to prepare, hoping to make the most of this rare opportunity to learn more about our changing world. Tarek Basley, Al Jazeera, Hobart, Australia.